Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson we are going to study some simple angle relationships and then have a few equations to solve. And the first relationship is here. It has to do with two angles that share a vertex here and they share one side too. And then here is just one line. So you can probably, sim you can probably see this relationship that this and this angle must add up to 180 degrees because this angle here in total is 180 degrees. Now, such angles are also called supplementary angles. For example here, what would be the angle measure of angle X here? We have here one line, so therefore this total angle here must be the straight angle, 180 degrees. So X and 22 add to 180 degrees. We can write an equation. Even if you can solve this mentally without writing an equation, let's practice that. x plus 22 degrees equals 180 degrees. And now to solve this simple equation, you would do what? Subtract 22 from both sides. And then we get x equals 180 minus 22, which is 158 degrees. Now here, it looks a little bit more complex, but actually it is just two of these kind of diagrams. Because I have this one line here, and on this side of it we have 127 degrees and x. So these two together are 180 degrees. And then also on this underside, so to speak, 60 degrees and y are together 180 degrees. So. I will get two equations, basically, x plus 127 degrees equals 180. Again, you would subtract to solve it, and we will get x equals 53 degrees. The same for y, we have y plus 60 equals 180, and y equals 120 degrees. Now over here, this angle here is a right angle, okay? It's marked with this square here. Then we have x and x. So, let me write an equation. All three angles together now add up to 180 degrees, right? So I would have x plus 90 plus x, right? Because right angle is 90 degrees. And then that is 180 degrees. And solving an equation. Okay, you can probably solve this. It is very easy to solve this without using an equation because x and x together have to be 90 degrees, so x is half of 90, right? But when we solve an equation, let's also practice this. We have x and x. Adding those together, we get 2x. 2x and 90 equals 180. Now we subtract 90 from both sides, so we get 2x equals 90 degrees. Just what I told you a little bit ago, that these two must add up to 90 degrees, since here's 90. And then we take half of 90, x equals 45 degrees. Another important relationship with angles is vertical angles. And those are formed always when you have two lines that intersect each other. There's this line here and this line. They intersect at that one point and four angles are formed there. And this is the Greek letter alpha, by the way. Alpha and alpha are equal, okay? So there's two angles that are the same. They have the same angle measure. For example, maybe both of them are, say, 40 degrees here, 40 and 40 degrees. And these two angles are also equal. They are called vertical angles. So this and this angle are vertical angles, and this and this angle are vertical angles. There's actually two pairs of vertical angles in this picture. And now, here I have a little puzzle about vertical angles. If one angle measure is given, we can find all three here. Can you? First of all, this here, being a vertical angle, is equal to 125 degrees. It is the same. Now how about this one? Now you use this principle from here. Because there is a line here, so this and this together, they are supplementary angles. So together they make 180 degrees. So this would be here, 55 degrees. And then this one here is the same because it is a vertical angle. 
Okay. Here's a little angle puzzle again. And also here. Why don't you pause the video now and try to solve this and this on your own? Okay, now what principles could I use here? First of all, I can notice that there are two lines that are intersecting. This here and this here. So this 130 degree angle, it has a vertical angle here too. It is between this and this. You know, it's over here. This angle here is also 130 degrees. And then our unknown angle and a right angle together form 130 degrees. In other words, x plus 90 degrees equals 130 degrees. So x must be equal to 40 degrees. Lastly, we have here x plus 14, x, x, 110 degrees. You can use a few different principles. You can use both of these to help get you started. But I'm going to just look at this line here and these three angles forming a straight angle together. This and this and this form a straight angle, 180 degrees. So I'm going to write an equation now about it, where x, this angle, then this angle, which is x and 14, then add 110. So those together, these are degrees, make 180 degrees. And now we will solve this equation. First, I will add x and x. That makes 2x. I will also add 14 and 110. That would be 124 degrees. That's just simplifying this side of the equation. And now we have two more steps. First, we subtract 124 from, from both sides. So, 2x is left alone here. On this side, I subtract 180 minus 124. So that would be 56 degrees. And lastly, divide both sides by 2. So we get x equals 28 degrees. So here is 28 degrees. Here's 28 plus 14, which is 42. And here's 28. Now how about this one? The 28 degrees and this unknown angle here together make 180. So this must be 152 degrees. Okay, we're all done with the lesson and now you're ready to go practice.